What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. We are back with Ruben Diaz, one of the best players in this pack. If not the best, I would say. If you are looking for an incredible center back, lads, these guy this guy's stats are just I mean, they're on par with some of the best players in the game that are like epic players, that are legend players. You've got Showtime Thiago Silva that is very similar in his defense stats and his acceleration would depend on how you train him up. Just an incredible card, right? So we do have two different training guides for him. I mean, straight off the rip, we've got unwavering form as standard. We've got heading, low lofted pass, man marking, interception, area superiority, sliding tackle, and fighting spirit, as well as captaincy. So the only thing you're missing is blocker. Similar to Rodri, uh, the only thing you're missing is blocker on this card. Obviously, he has the same play style as Rodri, or different play style to Rodri as well. And they are different positions in that Ruben Diaz can only play as a DMF or as a CB and Rodri can only play as a DMF. So if you've missed my other training guide on Rodri and Haaland, do check those out as well as part of this series where we do ultimate training guides. But Ruben Diaz, lads, look, defensively, unreal. Like his stats are just incredible. Like 85 straight off the rip, 85 aggression and defensive awareness, 84 tackling, 80 jumping, 83 defensive engagement and 81 physical contact with 78 stamina as well as 67 low pass which isn't too bad because he does have low lofted pass if you do use a lot of stunning passes which I wouldn't really recommend unless you've got a bit of space and you play a very good possession game but anyway right so on to the good stuff right we are going to head over to eFootballDB.com and we're going to show you two different versions of uh, Ruben Diaz because his main strength lads is going to lie in his defense right so for this version of him if you are looking to form a back tree where you don't really need space Ruben Diaz can sit in the middle here and you can have a fairly fast mobile center half beside him such as Alabas such as Timber such as somebody like that or a legend center back that is able to kind of mop up a lot of the loose ball that has acceleration over maybe 75, even though acceleration for the center backs isn't a huge issue at the moment because of the gameplay. I do think that they will change it for V2.5. I think that they'll balance the speed a lot in V2.5. So keeping that in mind, you are taking a bit of a gamble here, but what you're making up for is unbelievable, like the ultimate defender. He's got 97 defensive awareness and aggression, 96 tackling and 90, 95 defensive engagement. So if you've got a farm arrow with Ruben Diaz and his farm arrow is going to be fully up, you are going to have 99 defensive awareness, 98 to 99 tackling and 97 to 98 defensive engagement, which is just insane. On top of that, you're going to have boost to jump and physical contact, which are both in the 90s, as well as 88 header. And he does have that heading player skill as well. So let's look, if you're just looking for a complete destroyer at the back, and you don't want to sit on the ball, you don't want to pass the ball out from the back, you don't want to build up from the back, which doesn't really reward you in eFootball at the moment anyway. This guy is just like, you know, he's just overkill as a defender. I mean, he will defend for you. Practically, he will defend for you, right? Now, I do like this version, but I also think that this version is probably more well-rounded and more suited for, for those that like to play a little bit of football uh, out from the back and build attacks by switch and play, right? Now, we haven't really changed too much to this card and I'm going to show you maybe one or two things that I would probably do just to make this card depend on your play style right so if you're looking for like a long ball counter or a quick counter all rounder that will fit into those systems you've still got your defensive stats in the 94 to 95 category apart from defensive engagement which isn't that key you've got jumping in physical contact and header all in the high 80s and then you've also got 70 acceleration which will matter when you're coming up against you know 97 98 overall uh, acceleration Mbappe or Son or whoever it is that you're coming up against right Maximin or whoever if you're playing a back three or if you're being stretched a little bit centrally right so I do think that this is a good version of him but you know potentially I would probably say that if you were going to be going with this I would probably just boost down this a little bit just a fraction just to give us four points back and I would probably pump it in to passing to give us up to 70 passing that's kind of where I'd go with it. And then I'd maybe put one onto dribbling as well if you wanted to do that. But that is a very decent card that you're going to have there. 96 overall. You've got defense. You've got acceleration. You've got jump and physical contact. You've got stamina. You've got header. And you've also got 70 low pass, which, you know, is going to be good. So this for the complete defensive player and this for an all-rounder. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you are enjoying these guides. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.